All right, so this was kind of helpful in that uh, at least one YouTube channel, which in this case is Rabbit Hole, found a minor project. So I don't have to do as much research later, but I'll have to do research on XYZ website to find a tomb fork and a titano fork at random. All right, so this is actually not a live project yet. I'm not going to link to the Twitter, but I just went here just to take a look. So they're so this is actually supposed to launch I think today or yesterday, uh, and I should have actually uh, drank some more water and eat like something dry. Uh, you know I need to refill my water here, but <clears throat> it's going to be delayed until Wednesday, which is May nineteenth. All right, so. Supposedly, this project is actually run by the same people that run the CZ Kitchen, uh, and it does actually follow CZ Kitchen, so I'm actually probably going to assume this is actually true, simply because they're following themselves back, which they should. So it does look like it checks. So that so it does look like that checks out. So. This is an actual crops farmer uh, fork, which is basically just a copy and paste. Uh, I'm somewhat a little annoyed that people don't actually change it more aggressively. They literally just copy and paste, right? It's kind of like baked beans forks, right? Literally, people just people copy and paste it. They don't make any changes. It's, it's just very lazy. And then everyone wonders why all these minor projects are basically dying, right? You know, but whatever. That's just how it goes. <clears throat> All right, so let's just see. Uh, the text might be a little hard to read because this is obviously a pirate-themed uh, website. At least they hired a pretty good, uh, a very good graphics designer. All right, so let's see. You have to compound 10 times, right? You have to wait 12 hours between each compound. Uh, there's a 48-hour accumulation reward cutoff, so that's really good. Anti-buy measures, and then, of course, 80% uh, tax if you withdraw, you know, early. So you're earning 6% a day. So this is exactly like BNB Crops Farmer then, basically. All right, so it's exactly, so they didn't change anything. Uh, it's like, you know, I kind of wish they would do something different. Like, first of all, you, like, for example, BNB Miner, their contract balance has been going up steadily, all right, because it's the one project that actually works, all right? I'm surprised people still don't copy that. Because I would like to see a 24-hour reward cutoff or less, right? Preferably less. I want to see a lower daily APR, and then, well, this is not collecting a tax, right? But I like to see some kind of tax and a lower APR. But with that being said, I see now that Crops Farmer, the TVL, is actually starting to drain now, but very slowly, right? So that's it's, so it's because again of the tax and the 10 times mandatory feature. Uh, am I worried? Not too much. I mean, it's going to be a long time before it runs out of money, and by then, you know, it'll have more people coming in anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, so with that being said, and yeah, I'm still getting diluted like hell anyway, too, so which is which is pretty funny. So, uh, so normally, so I already have a million. I'm still stuck in all my minor projects. Funny enough, even the ones that are dying, right? So I don't need another tab open. Uh, with that being said, it might act, but maybe it might pay for me to actually get into this simply because I know the tokenomics work. I know for a fact that they're probably a legit project. So I don't have to worry about the rug pull, right? Because it's by it's supposed to be by the same CZ Kitchen people, right? I mean that's what the rabbit hole said on his uh, YouTube video, so I'm gonna assume that you know he's actually correct. Uh, and then if you get in on the very first like ten seconds, then everybody else comes in after you. Your your actual income goes straight up, right? Because uh, because I actually made a mistake on the Phantom Crops Farmer. I literally was playing games or something like that, and then I completely forgot about it, and then I didn't get in until fifteen minutes after it launched. I I completely screwed myself out of a three X income boost. 3x to 5x. So, <clears throat> so I should see something similar here as well. Um, let me see. Uh, I have an idea. Let me go over here. Go to CZ Kitchen. <clears throat> yeah. See, it even says here partnering with Lost Spices. 
follow the law spices. So they call, they call it partnering, but supposedly it's supposed to be the same guy. So, yeah. Uh, they are in the incubation program. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the kitchen's incubation program. Hmm. Biggest highlight is uh, this is my way all time high one military strong community. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, your contract is draining like crazy, so um, it's not the biggest anymore. Notice the tweet said we had a one million TVL at one point. <laughs> yeah, well, baked beans had you know eight million, eight point five million dollars worth of TVL. All right, now now it's like down way lower. It's baked beans is still the biggest, but. I don't know, man. I don't know. They better, uh, they better do something, you know. But I don't know. I think if they, uh, if they can stabilize their TVL, it might start compounding a little bit on my baked beans. My uh, daily income has been going down quite substantially because I haven't compounded on baked beans in a long time. So my share dilution is very, very high. All right. So, but I mean, it still produces okay income. So you know, I can't really complain too much. Uh, all right, so uh, let's see. Yeah, so I mean it's a crops farmer fork. You know, we, we, I've already covered this like a million times. So uh, I don't know if I actually want to get in on this. You know, even though even though it, that is kind of tempting, right? I do want that three to five x you know Binance Coin boost. The problem is I really just don't have that much in reserves. I've been constantly putting it into my stablecoin farming. I mean, I could raid my stablecoin farming, but even if I did that, it's not really that much. And I'm not touching my sphere. I'm literally not touching my sphere. I want my sphere to grow to like, you know, a really high amount. I finally broke a milestone for me personally. I'm not going to be able to real number. All right. I finally broke a, you know, I finally let it grow to the point where it's broken my little personal milestone goal for my sphere stack. Right. I don't want to raid that, especially right now, because sphere is like basically a, a little less than a penny. So I have to dump a lot of sphere to get like something substantial. Uh, and I know for a fact, especially now that I see the data from all my crops farmer projects, that I'm going to get diluted pretty quickly anyway, right? It's going to take about, in this case, if I were to invest in this and it launches May uh, 16th, right? No, May 19th, right? In two days. I'm going to enjoy, I'm basically going to get diluted after day seven, day eight, right? And, and, then, and it's just like, I don't know. Like, is that really worth it to damage my stack and sphere? Knowing that I'm going to be making less and less money, you know, but with that being said, I don't want to end this video until I decide what do I want to do. Do I want to get in on this project or not? I mean, it's not going to be a lot of money. That's the, that's the thing. But I can't, I, I cannot ignore, you know, free money, right? I can't ignore, I mean, I could dump, I could theoretically dump all of my phantom reserves and buy a Binance coin. Obviously, I have to sell it, change it into stable coin, bridge it over through Synapse protocol. That's my preferred bridge because it's guaranteed to be quick and cheap, all right? Unless, unless there's like very high volume, then it's like four or five dollar, uh, four or five dollar fees. Uh... But I mean, most of the time it's one to two dollar fees. Um, I don't know. I mean, let me think about this. How much Binance coin is that? I mean, I'm not really gonna get much, am I? Yeah, I'm not really gonna get much. And then, basically, I would have, I would only, I would have a minor project that would only pay me out like once every six to seven days, because obviously you have to compound for a minimum of five days. And then that's extra. Oh, that's the other thing too. That's an extra timer I have to keep track of. I'm, I'm already having a. I'm already having a doozy keeping track of three timers. Binance Dollar Crops Farmer, Binance Coin Crops Farmer, and then of course Phantom Crops Farmer. I'm going to have four when AVAX Crops Farmer comes out because I know that's going to come out. And if they expand the Polygon, that's five. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to pass. Even though I know that this is actually money on the table, me personally, it's going to be because I just have too many pro I have too many things going on. Which kind of sucks, actually. I don't know. Maybe I should. T I, maybe I should put up with it, actually. I don't know. Maybe I should. I'm just not gonna have a lot, though. I don't know. You know what? I think I'll just wait. I mean, there's always gonna be opportunity, but this is actually gonna be a pretty good project, though. I think. So.
Yeah. So anyway, check out uh, the Lost Spices. <clears throat> Assuming again that this is not going to be a rug pull scam, I think the chances of that is pretty much close to zero, just based on what we've seen. All right. I mean, they link back to themselves, or there might be separate projects after all, but I'm pretty sure CZ Kitchen would at least, you know, vet whoever these people are. All right, because, you know, it's going to be a pretty bad look for uh, CZ Kitchen if they actually onboard a rug pull scam, right? So, you know, uh, the reason why I'm not going to like and retweet is because it's going to mess up my uh, algorithm. All right, because I've actually noticed that, that Twitter is actually recommending far left wing people to my Twitter, and then they actually follow my Twitter, and then they actually find out I'm like a, a center right right wing guy, and then they get angry and block me. All right, so I assume that actually harms me in the algorithm. So it's really stupid, right? It's like you know, you just it's like they always say that right wing people are intolerant, but left wing people are even more intolerant. All right, <laughs> it's like you know, you, you just can't win. Also, why is there a lot of oh. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, by the way, never do this, if you tag me, right, if you tag me like this just so you can get this stupid giveaway, you're going to get fucking blocked on my Twitter, alright, so don't do that, alright, don't do that, alright, you're going to actually piss me off, alright, because again, this is spam, and on top of that, you're spamming me for your own selfish purposes, and you don't ever like or retweet my stuff, which makes me even more annoyed, alright, because you are the actual definition of parasite all right and nobody likes that all right in fact i actually removed a uh you know a, a fake comment with like fake replies and fake upvotes <laughs> on like one of my on my stable coin video all right because uh because it's the same thing right but you know here's the thing you know, like if uh you know you you leave behind a spam comment and it's like well you know good content but i disagree with you blah, blah. like you counter signal me in any way you, you just get you know you just get deleted and banned all right well i didn't block them because i forgot about it but you know if it gets excessive i'm definitely going to do that all right so yeah yeah anyway i don't want this video to get too long check out uh, the lost spices it will launch in about two days um so yeah if you get in within like the first 10 to 20 seconds, and 20 seconds is really pushing it, but even if you just get in early, you're definitely going to benefit from the initial rush into this project. Maybe I should actually get into this project because CZ Kitchen at one point had like three to 6,000 Binance Coin TVL, right? So I could see the same thing here, and that's a lot of money on the table, but then my... Risk reward is I won't be able to put much in and I have an extra timer to deal with. Yeah, because I've because I always miss the twelve hour uh, timer. I mean, I just have too much stuff going on. Of course, I compound immediately as soon as I remember, but it really sucks to you know. <sighs> That's a tough choice. It's a tough choice, but you know, Props Farmer is going to come out with a new fork, so. You know, actually, let's actually take a look at uh, let's actually take a look at the Twitter. Um, okay. When did he put this out? May ten. Mhm. Mm okay. So for now, it looks like he's just concentrating on doing a little bit of. Whatever, yeah, he's pretty good with not only translating, but also marketing, too. So that's pretty good. So that's what he's focusing on now. And I'm pretty sure people have already asked him, you know, when's the next crops farmer coming out? So, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, uh, I guess we'll wait. Oh, man, I really... See, it's just like Astro Farmer. No, Astro Farmer. Uh, 100 Days Ventures. Now that's up to, like, half a penny. So I think it's been up since I did the video yesterday, right? I think, because that was, like, four, sub four cents, right? So it's up, like, 25% from when I did the video yesterday. So it's like, eh, I don't know, I'm leaving money behind. But, I mean, the stock markets are doing pretty well. Yeah, they're doing extremely well. So Greg Manriel is going to be pretty happy. Well, we're all going to be happy. Um, let me see. Yeah, cryptocurrencies are still a little bit under pressure, but they are slowly going up. It's probably because of the Terra Luna thing. Like that thing, I didn't actually – see, that's the thing too. Ter I just did the video on Tether. I actually have to – it should be done processing. Yeah, let me make that public. 
right? And the problem is, you know, Terra Luna alone is able to drag down the entire crypto market, right? We're now finally getting over that, but what happens if Tether goes down? That could actually take down the entire crypto market too, right? Because I know Hotbit, everything they do is based on Tether. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, I didn't mention that in my video. I have to think about that. All right, anyway, it's at 15 minutes. There's a lot of things I have to go through, mostly because I actually understand. See, that's the problem. These stable coins are going to get regulated because it really is starting to affect everyone. Uh, this is just... Ah, this is just so annoying, but, um, well, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? And, hey, that's why I'm going to have an offshore company, right? So, you know, I don't have to worry too much about it. Anyway, check out The Lost Spices. Like, subscribe, share this video around with your friends and family. Thank you again to all the new and old people watching this video. Let's keep growing the channel, and I'll see you in the next project, which should hopefully be a some kind of random tomb fork project. I have to do the research right after. So, yep. See you there. Thanks.